There are many things that can be useful in the administration of health care in developing countries if you look at the history of health care in Okinawa after World War II to present. There were problems such as an inadequate number of health care facilities, personnel resources, the prevalence of endemics like malaria, high infant mortality rate, and poor public health in Okinawa. How are these problems solved? We are going to take a look at the history of healthcare in Okinawa that began with making the best use of the limited medical personnel in the aftermath of the war, controlled by the U.S. forces, and then its reversion to Japan. Okinawa Prefecture is the southwesternmost territory in Japan. There are 160 islands spread over an area of 400,000 square kilometers. Okinawa has a subtropical climate and the annual average temperature is 23 degrees. The Ryukyu Kingdom that lasted 450 years from the 15th century traded with Japan, China, Korea, and Southeast Asian countries. Due to its relationship with other countries, Okinawa developed hybrid culture. Okinawa was the only part of Japan that was invaded by U.S. ground troops. Because of this, Okinawa suffered lots of civilian casualties, not only soldiers. U.S. forces occupied Okinawa from 1945 until 1972, when Okinawa reverted back to Japan. Until then, Okinawa was regarded as a foreign country by Japan. Japan has the highest life expectancy rate with women at 85 years. Per capita, Okinawa has the highest number of people over 100. Now, we are going to take a look at how the healthcare-related personnel was secured and how the administration measures were carried out based on the epidemiological transitions in Okinawa. Epidemiological transition can be shown as follows. In the first period, contagious infectious diseases such as diarrhea and enteritis were prevalent. In the second period, chronic infectious diseases, such as tuberculosis, were widespread. In the third period, prominent diseases changed from infectious diseases to lifestyle-related diseases. In the fourth period, in addition to lifestyle-related diseases, an aging society became the issue to be dealt with. Now, we will take a look at the four periods, putting emphasis on the situation in Okinawa after the war. The first period, with contagious infectious diseases as the prominent type of disease, started in 1945, when public health activity was initiated until around 1950. In this period, Okinawa was under the control of the United States Military Administration. Soon after the war, there were only 64 doctors in Okinawa. This was a third the number before the war. Most hospitals and clinics had been destroyed. In addition to inadequate nutrition and overwork, the people in Okinawa were suffering from infectious diseases such as malaria and tuberculosis, thus public health was at its worst. 
Among infectious diseases, malaria was the most prevalent. In the Yaeyama Islands, more people died of malaria than of war. Under these circumstances, school education was resumed and Okinawa started to recover from the war. The Far East military headquarters issued orders to the government of the Ryukyu Islands regarding the recovery of Okinawa. It said that they would raise the standard of living and environment up to the level of before the war. However, people were required to continue to make efforts to improve them after that. In 1946, the United States Military Administration inaugurated the Government of Okinawa Island, organized by residents. Then, the jurisdictions of health care facilities were transferred to the Public Health Department of the Government of Okinawa Island and implemented the government-managed health care system. The government made all doctors into government employees, so the government had the personnel to deal with emergencies. Public health care facilities were also improved little by little. In addition, regulations such as the health and hygiene of the public were issued. While the hygiene section of municipal offices and hygiene associations were organized, the government strongly promoted the environmental sanitation control, putting emphasis on controlling infectious disease by the use of DDT. As a result, major improvements were seen in the prevention of infectious diseases, including the eradication of malaria. In June of 1950, after the Korean War broke out, the construction of U.S. bases started in full swing, and tens of thousands of U.S. soldiers began to be stationed in Okinawa. In September of the same year, the United States Military Administration changed to the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands with the Civil Administration Agencies. Along with that, the health care policies also moved on to the next stage. The second period, from the 1950s to the mid-1960s, was the period during which health care administration was promoted, especially at public health centers, and prevented infectious diseases. In April 1951, the Ryukyu Temporary Central Government was inaugurated. In September 1951, the peace treaty was signed with the Japanese government, and Okinawa was officially separated from the administrative rights of Japan. In April 1952, the peace treaty and the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty came into effect. Together with this, the government of the Ryukyu Islands started, and Okinawa came under the indirect control of the U.S. military. However, the autonomy of the government of the Ryukyu Islands was limited to the areas where the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands allowed. What was the relationship between the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands and the government of the Ryukyu Islands in implementing health care policies? In the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands, there was a manager of public health and welfare department. His staff included nurses and ex-medical aides. We were dealing with those people and we talked and worked in a professional manner. They had humanitarianism. Therefore, it was easy to talk and work with them. Professional soldiers tend to be suppressive, but they were not. Under these circumstances, in 1951, several systems that gave significant effect on health care in Okinawa later began to be initiated. One of them was the free practice system for doctors. However, with few doctors left in Okinawa, it was expected that remote islands and areas would be without doctors, as most doctors would want to start their practices in the cities. Then, the United States Civil Administration of the UQ Islands issued the deployment of medical practitioners and dental practitioners throughout the Okinawa Islands. In 
accordance with that, the government of the Ryukyu Islands set up a doctor's deployment committee in Okinawa and limited the number of doctors who are allowed to practice in each area. In addition, United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands issued a public health center law and established public health centers one after another. The establishment of public health centers started when United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands decided to take measures after having struggled to deal with sexually transmitted diseases prevalent among U.S. soldiers stationed in Okinawa. In 1949, Brigadier General Sams came to Okinawa and said that an organizational structure called the Public Health Center had to be created in order to solve the STD problem. In establishing public health centers, it became urgent to train personnel who could work in the field of public health nursing. Then, in 1951, United States Civil Administration of the UQ Islands proclaimed the Nurse Training School Law and began the training for clinical nurses, public health nurses, and midwives. Public health nurses were to work in public health nursing activities. Those women were called governmental public health nurses. Governmental public health nurses were posted at public health centers. The Hokubu Public Health Center in a rural area carried out parasite control. The Chubu Public Health Center, with lots of U.S. soldiers, carried out STD control. And the Nambu Public Health Center, where the population was most concentrated, carried out TB control. The stationing system of governmental public health nurses was also initiated. Governmental public health nurses, living in the community, trying to blend in with the people, provided health services in order to solve various health problems. They also provided health education. This method played an important role in decreasing infectious diseases and infant mortality rate. Governmental public health nurses who worked hard for the people were affectionately called kōkan-san. From the 1950s to 1960s, tuberculosis was prevalent in Okinawa. Every year, there are around 3,000 new cases. Governmental public health nurses provided productive preventive health services against tuberculosis. Mass examination for tuberculosis was important. However, to treat tuberculosis was the most important thing. For that, systems were created to treat patients with public health centers mainly taking the initiative. These systems included a provisional regulation that made home care treatment possible and the TB prevention law in 1956. With the initiation of the governmental public health nurse stationing system, maternal and child health activity came to be as one of the public health nursing activities. Governmental public health nurses played an important role also in maternal and child health projects by, for example, establishing the method of health guidance on motherhood and infants. While improving the health care, the government of the Ryukyu Islands also put emphasis on the prevention of diseases. I think the government had the foresight. The preventive activities were based at public health centers. Governmental public health nurses played an important role in this. They could actively work because the government of the Ryukyu Islands backed them up with a sense of responsibility. When the government was to station governmental public health nurses at municipal offices, the government provided adequate explanations to the municipal office so that municipal government could understand the necessity of the governmental public health nurses. Also, the government continuously educated the station governmental public health nurses. Personnel management of the governmental public health nurses was also important. Everybody had their own responsibilities and problems at home, so the government had to take these into consideration when doing personnel management. With these supports from the government, governmental public health nurses worked with a sense of security. 
This contributed to the great success of the system. We can discover unique administrative approaches in Okinawan health sector. You can't do anything in public health centers without the support from the people. You have to win the trust of the people and then make a plan. Otherwise, you cannot expect the people to actively participate in these programs. Although senior officials of the government of the Ryukyu Islands might take sides with the U.S. force, it depends on the individual's personality. We common folk have always tried to take sides with the people. When necessary, we said things we needed to say to the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands. I thought that as long as I have a doctor's license, I would find a place to work, and that if I got fired because of what I said, I can start over elsewhere. The government of the Ryukyu Islands carried out efficient health activities in cooperation with non-governmental organizations. For example, the Parasite Prevention Association began a social campaign titled the Parasite Zero Campaign, together with the government, to eradicate parasites. The government of the Ryukyu Islands constructed government hospitals one after another. By raising the level of public hospitals, the government tried to secure a high level of health care, including emergency medical treatments and health care facilities that can play a central role in the community. However, because there were a limited number of doctors, as more doctors were needed at the hospitals, doctors who could work at the clinics in remote islands and areas were in short supply. Then, the medical servicemen system was created as a provisional means. In this system, the government permitted ex-medical aides in the former Japanese army to perform medical acts under the supervision of the directors of public health centers limiting the area. In 1951, the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands issued a law defining doctor assistants as medical servicemen and dental assistants as dental medical servicemen and establish the medical servicemen system. After training for up to two weeks, those who passed certification examinations were given the qualification of a medical serviceman. 126 medical servicemen and 35 dental medical servicemen came into service. Most of the medical servicemen were posted in remote islands and areas without doctors. Although the medical acts they were allowed to conduct were limited, they became indispensable to the people in these areas. As my duties got support from the people, I felt a strong sense of responsibility and mission toward my work. When a doctor was sent to the island, patients came to me instead of going to him. It was probably because I was closer to them, living in the same island. People felt more comfortable talking and consulting with me. Therefore, even when a doctor was sent, patients still came to me. Everybody gets sick from time to time. If nobody was here to care for us when we got sick, we would feel anxiety, such as I might die or what is going to happen. I hope that the medical service man will stay here forever. In 1955, the doctor's law of the government of the Ryukyu Islands enacted that no more provision of new licenses for medical servicemen. In increasing the human resource for health in Okinawa, the study system for medical students in mainland Japan was initiated in 1949 for providing medical education to the young candidates. This system had developed to the study system for medical students on public expenses in 1953. This system had further extended to study system for medical students on government expenses in 1955. 
Under this system, lots of students were sent to mainland Japan until the system ended 31 years later. In 1957, the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands changed its system from the Civil Administrative Agencies to the High Commissioner System. In 1960, with the conclusion of the new U.S.-Japan Security Treaty, Okinawa became the subject of aid from the Japanese government. In accordance with that, in 1961, 15 doctors dispatched from the Japanese government were posted at the government-owned clinics, mainly in remote areas, under the technical assistance from the Japanese government. These doctors worked for the people in the community. In 1962, it became possible for tuberculosis patients in Okinawa to be admitted to national sanatoriums in mainland Japan. This contributed to TB control. In 1965, then Prime Minister Eisaku Sato visited Okinawa and announced a plan to establish a faculty of medicine in the University of the Ryukyus. The following year, an investigatory group was sent from the Japan Medical Association and proposed a detailed plan taking into consideration the situation in Okinawa. It was to establish the School of Medicine, Faculty of Health Science in the University of the Ryukyus to train doctors with more emphasis put on prevention than treatment. In 1960. the third period, from the 1960s to the 1970s, prominent diseases changed from infectious diseases to lifestyle-related diseases. In this period, the initiative in the healthcare administration in Okinawa was transferred from the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands to the Japanese government. The financial aid from the Japanese government to Okinawa, which was only about 50,000 US dollars in 1962, exceeded that of the United States Civil Administration of the Ryukyu Islands in 1967 and continued increasing even after that. The United States at this time was at war in Vietnam and had an international budget deficit due to war expenditures. The government of the Ryukyu Islands was financially poor and they relied on the income from the U.S. base, budget from the U.S. force, and the assistance from the Japanese government. In place of tuberculosis, lifestyle-related diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and cancer began to rank higher in causes of death. The government was required to take measures against these. Mental health care also became an important issue. In 1968, when the government of the Ryukyu Islands was preparing for Okinawa's reversion back to Japan, the governmental public health nurses, midwives, and nurses law was established so that the public health nurses, midwives, and nurses law of mainland Japan could be applied to those who had the licenses even after the reversion. Our level was higher than of the nurses from Japan because most of the people engaged in nursing education in Okinawa had received a one-year course of public health. Most of the nurses from the mainland had not received this. Okinawa sent the most nurses to other prefectures for training and they became teachers and put what they had learned into practice. Therefore, I had confidence that our level was higher. After the 1970s and the fourth period, lifestyle-related diseases became the prominent disease and geriatric diseases began to increase. In 1972, Okinawa reverted to Japan and became Okinawa Prefecture. Along with that, Japan's laws and systems in health insurance, health care for the elderly, and mental health was applied in Okinawa, thus Okinawa's health care was standardized. On the other hand, this application affected the systems peculiar to Okinawa to some degree. They were afraid that medical servicemen, whose position was not guaranteed by the law in Japan, might not be able to continue their work. However, they remained after the reversion. 
they were also afraid that the stationing system of the governmental public health nurses might be abolished. However, it was decided that the stationing system could be continued thanks to the enthusiastic governmental public health nurse sustain campaign by the government and the people concerned. Governmental public health nurses came to work under the prefecture and the title was changed from governmental public health nurses to prefecture of public health nurses. In 1978, along with the change in prominent diseases, aging of the population, and the change in social environment, the government put up a health promotion system to be implemented by municipalities in preparation to provide care for the great number of elderly people expected in the 21st century. In accordance with this, the municipal public health nurses were employed at municipal offices and municipal public health centers. They were in charge of health activities in the community. Around that time, municipal public health nurses were slowly increasing. However, municipalities had been dependent on the prefecture's health administration, so they were not quite enthusiastic for hiring municipal public health nurses because they wanted to get the prefecture to take charge in health administration for as long as possible. Then, the prefecture had to set a date as to when the prefectural public health nurses withdrew from municipal offices and stated that the municipal public health nurses had to be employed in municipalities with a large population. At that time, I was stationed at a municipal office. When the system changed, Municipal offices were totally at their wit's end. It took more than 10 years for municipalities to regard the public health nurse as professionals and to change their attitude from cooperation with the prefecture by choice to we have to do it. In 1982, the Elderly Health Law was established and health and welfare services began to be carried out by the municipalities. In 1994, the Public Health Center Law that lasted nearly half a century was abolished and the Community Health Law was established. With this new law, the role taken by the prefectural public health nurses and municipal public health nurses were clearly defined. In 1997, the community health law was fully enforced and the administrative authorities and health sector were transferred from prefecture to municipalities. Municipal public health nurses took over the role of station prefectural public health nurses and the prefectural public health nurses stationing system was abolished. Municipalities employed municipal public health nurses and the prefecture withdrew prefectural public health nurses little by little. However, it was difficult for towns and villages in remote islands to hire municipal public health nurses. Then, those municipalities in remote islands paid the prefecture to have prefectural public health nurses stationed at their offices for a certain period of time. With the establishment of the community health law in 1997, it was decided that all the municipalities, even in remote islands, have to employ the municipal public health nurses by themselves. Thus, the stationing system had ended completely. After that, in Okinawa, in order to cope with the aging population and varieties of health demands in individuals, health services decentralize to municipalities which are closer to the residents. Public health centers' roles also change to some degree. They are now engaged in providing special health services such as mental health, intractable diseases, AIDS, investigation and research in reference to community health, analysis of information, education, and training. At present, there are some young municipal public health nurses working in remote islands who need technical support by the senior. The prefecture has established the special support system called Ganin, which dispatches the senior at the prefectural level to those remote islands in a certain period. 
It aims at providing operational assistance to the young in order to let them become accustomed to work at the posted area as long as possible. Now, the prefecture is adapting such a special system to support younger municipal public health nurses. As for the doctor's program based on the UQ assistance plan by the United States, their clinical training has been provided since 1967 at the Chubu Hospital with sufficient facilities that functioned for operating an intern program. This clinical training, which is being continued even after the reversion to Japan, has been successful in increasing the number of doctors as well as short clinical training courses. From 1973, students from Okinawa have been entering the Jichi Medical School every year. This is an educational facility to generate doctors who are expected to contribute to community health. After graduation, they work at remote islands and areas and make contributions to community health care. Then, in 1982, the School of Medicine, Faculty of Medicine, was established in the University of the Ryukyus. In accordance with this, the Faculty of Health Science, which had been established 14 years ago, became the School of Health Science, Faculty of Medicine. The medical students who graduated from the Faculty of Medicine in the University of the Ryukyus are contributing to health care within and outside of Okinawa Prefecture. In 1999, aiming at further improving the level of quality in nurses, a four-year Okinawa Prefectural College of Nursing was opened. In the healthcare administration in Okinawa after the war, it is said that the emphasis was equally put on both health and treatment. In the period of the government of the Ryukyu Islands, infectious diseases such as filariasis and tuberculosis were widespread and made it difficult for people to sustain their health. However, it was very difficult to properly deal with infectious diseases because we had some difficulties such as a shortage of health care providers. Therefore, the government of the Ryukyu Islands put emphasis on preventative health. As one of the approaches, the government stationed governmental public health nurses at public health centers. Thanks to their dedicated work, infectious diseases were put under control. This kind of method proves to be still effective in providing health care services in Okinawa in the period of lifestyle-related diseases. This implies a significant meaning, even at present. As a whole, the characteristics of health sectors in Okinawa can be found in the administration where the emphasis was put equally on both clinical medicine and preventive health, even though it was possibly developed into by occasion. Dr. Taida says that the ownership by the public health sector was also the key to success. It was important for the government of the Ryukyu Islands to support the activity of the governmental public health nurses, and the government did that. This shows the government's responsibility. Also, governmental public health nurses develop the activities for the people in the community with a sense of responsibility and enthusiasm. I mean a sense of responsibility of each governmental public health nurse and the government together and they provided community health services in the community with the cooperation of municipalities and people concerned. That brought about a huge success. This is what's called ownership by the public health sector today. The key to success in community health administration by the government of the Ryukyu Islands was the existence of the ownership by the public health sector.
Public health develops based on stable peace and social economy. Public health activities can be sustained through collective and cooperative efforts that protect the lives of individuals and improve their living standard in the community. Therefore, human resources for health that can support these activities and the backup by the government might have high potential. It can be said that Okinawa, after the war, was a good example in showing us various kinds of approaches to encourage the development of health sector human resources and the organizations under the complexity and scarcity of resources. <laughs>